Hi everyone, Rick Bray with BT BOCES Instructional Support, and in this video I'd like to show you how to do a mail merge using Autocrat. Now Autocrat is an add-on for Google Sheets. By the end of this process you may think it's a doc add-on, but again it's really an add-on for Google Sheets. A mail merge is where you can combine data from a spreadsheet into a document, placing uh, the data into specific sections of the document and making a new document for each set of data. I know that's a little complicated, um, but let's let's just get right into it. In order to make this work, the first thing you need is you need data in a spreadsheet. Now I'm going to be using Google Sheets and Google Docs for this because Autocrat is a Google add-on. And within that sheet, you can either manually enter or directly input the data as I've done here. I've made some data for a, a fake class that I just made up. Or you could use something like a Google form, uh, which puts the data into a sheet for you, and you can use the data in that sheet as well. Uh, what is important is that you have header columns for your data. They don't have to be bold faced. I just did that to help them stand out. Uh, but you know, here where I have student name, class average, lab minutes, and remaining minutes, that's going to help us remember what these things are instead of necessarily having to remember column A, B, C, and D. So once you have all that data, the next step is to write your letter in Google Docs. Now I saved us a little bit of time because uh, I already wrote the letter. You don't have to watch me write a letter. But what we're going to do is we've cr I've created these tags. They're custom tags. You see here where there's uh, two brackets, a word, and then closed brackets. That's a tag that I'm going to later associate to one of these columns of data. You can probably figure out that name is going to be student name, average class average and what Autocrat will do is connect these tags that I've created with a column and write an individual letter for each row of data right pretty neat um, so again you're making these up as you go so for example I could say uh, please sign and return and then I'll, I'll put a little space here for them to sign and you know sometimes the names are a little different the names are hard to read so maybe down here I'll put parent slash legal guardian if I can spell of name that way it'll automatically put the student's name in there for me so once you have your letter all set to go with these tags created again it has to be a double open bracket and then a double closed bracket at the end of the tag you want to go to your Google Sheet and if you have not already added Autocrat, to do that, go to Add-ons and then Get Add-ons. You can search for Autocrat. And like these here have a blue plus arrow, simply click on that arrow and it will load Autocrat for you. And you'll have to allow it permissions the first time. But once it's there, you select Autocrat and Open. Now if you have any existing jobs, it'll show them. Uh, but probably the first time you're going to have to create a new job. Okay. Uh, so like I said, no merge, we're going to create a new job and we can name it. We'll just name it sample for this case. And next. Now this is where you uh, tell the sheet which doc you want to look at. You can either create a doc on the fly or you can pull one from Drive. Again, this doc is in my Google Drive. It's test mail merge. So I'm going to go look for it. You might have seen it does have recently connected docs. Uh, it is, it's right here, easy to find. I could also search for it if it wasn't so easy. Um, but I'll select the test mail merge. And what this is now going to do, uh, good, I have it selected. When I say next, it's going to look through that doc for any of those tags that I created. So that's one thing you can see if all your tags show up. If they didn't, there was maybe an issue with the brackets. And it's going to connect to a column on the spreadsheet. If you notice, I don't have any choices here. That's because this merge tab, uh, you can specify which sheet you want to get the data from. So in this case, I want it from sheet one. This is really helpful if you have lots of data that you're collecting on multiple sheets, and then you bring it all into one final sheet at the end. But name, I'm going to connect with student name. Average was my class average. Lab minutes, a uh, lab to minutes rather, and remaining to remaining minutes. So what this does again is anywhere average shows up as a tag in my letter, it's going to pull that data from class average. So I say next. Now the file name, uh, if I just call this letter 
home. The problem is every single one of these files is going to be called letter home. It says here you can use a tag uh, to align it, so, but it's, it's not using the brackets, that's the trick. So I might say letter home for, you have to use the dollar sign, and then in this case I want it to be st the student's name. So I'm going to say student name, right? actually we'll do it this way, student name. Uh, because that's going to pull it from the column called student name. So it'll be letter home for Bruce Wayne with all of his information. Letter home for Alfred Penny Pennyworth with all his information. Selena Kyle with all hers. Right? Uh, makes it a little easier for me to find. Google document. I can select it to be a Google Doc or a PDF. Uh, you can output it as multiple documents or a single document. That's a really nice feature if you're compiling a report for someone. Instead of it being individual uh, PDFs for every single data row, it can just be one. Depends on what you're doing. I'll say next. We have to say where to uh, send it to within Google Drive. And I just made a, a folder called Mail Merge Test, right? Nothing too complicated. So we'll select that one. Again, if you need to, you can search for it, but it goes by the way it was created. So great, that's going to put it in that folder. We'll say next. Uh, dynamic reference, that's up to you if you want to do it later. You can search for what that is. It's optional, you don't have to. Um, merge condition, this is things where uh, you, know, you can tell it to run the merge as long as there's actually data there. Again, it's optional. Feel free to look that up if you want, kind of giving you the basic version. Do you want to share the docs? Yes or no. Who do you want to share them with? Triggers are nice. You can set this up so that as soon as a new piece of information comes into the spreadsheet, uh, it runs a mail merge based on that information so you don't have to constantly do it, but it's up to you. But when you're all done, simply hit save. And now I have the job ready to go. All I have to do is hit this little play button to run the job. And this is where you can see if it's running correctly. It'll start saying that the merge sequence has started and it'll tell you how many of them has successfully merged. Right, so 10 rows will be merged. That's good. I have 10 pieces of unique data. And as I go through, I can see now in the spreadsheet, it's starting to give me information we'll see later about that it was successfully merged and it's telling me that they were merged. If I go look at my, my folder where they're going to, you can see the documents are starting to show up. So again, what this is doing is creating a letter for that unique row. So that's Bruce Wayne's name his average, again his name, the minutes of lab that he's completed, how many are left, my name, and then everywhere I had one of these tags, it's going to put that data in for that individual person. So this is a great way for, for getting letters home to parents if you want. A couple tips that I have, when you're creating these tags, make sure it's alpha only. You don't want uh, periods, spaces, commas, hyphens, things like that, no numbers. That tends to confuse Autocrat. Also, within your spreadsheet, uh, you don't want to have header columns, right? So like class average lab minutes, you don't want to have them that are any of them that are identical. So like two things that say lab minutes, that confuses it. Uh, so maybe call it lab minute one, lab minute two, things like that. Um, but this is, a, again, it's a great way to speed up communication uh, because in just that time, I wrote 10 individualized letters. Uh, the more fancy you want to get, you certainly can. You can do things like... Uh, um, date, you know, and now in my spreadsheet, maybe I'm going to put a new column uh, over here that says uh, date, right, and I'll put whatever the date is. So now it's going to automatically uh, put a date on my letter for me. You can just put more and more tags in there as you want to make it work. So mail merges are a little complicated, but once you get the hang of them, they can make your life so much more efficient in terms of communication. So as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to e email either Taylor or myself. And as always, thank you for watching.